Welcome to the Rink Report presented by Tell Ohio Credit Union. In tonight's game presented by Nationwide, recognizing agency of the game in Social Risk Advisors Insurance Agency. Dylan Tire with you as the Blue Jackets are back here in Columbus after a three-game road trip. They finish things up Thursday night in Boston, battling the Bruins, taking them to overtime. Unfortunately, they did lose 2-1 to one when it all came down to it. And bad news for the Blue Jackets, more injuries on the road trip. And for more, we'll throw it to Bob McElligot and Jody Shelley. Well, the Blue Jackets finally return home tonight to take on the Florida Panthers. And, Jody, who is wearing Blue Jackets jerseys tonight? That's what we're not really sure of. Well, we're sure, but it's going to look a lot different than it did last time this team was at home. Yes, and this is not an April Fool's joke, Bob. The Blue Jackets, again, having to recall a couple more players. It's been one of those seasons for this team, but the word opportunity is back in play. So you have Loto and you have big Josh Dunn in the lineup. These two guys have waited their turn in Cleveland. Uh, the Blue Jackets understand what they're up against in the Florida Panthers. But, hey, tonight, I think they got to lean on the big boys. Boone Jenner, Johnny Goodrow, Sean Corrales, the veterans here back at home. I expect a big effort. One thing that's easy to forget is even though there are a lot of players that have come up from the Cleveland Monsters and they're playing in the NHL, they've played together before. They do have chemistry between themselves, and so they're able to come up, and it makes it just a little bit easier. Yeah, five of the D have played together this year in Cleveland, and uh, Tim Bernie's D partner down there was Billy Sweezy for, for a lot of games last year too. So these players coming in, uh, they understand what they want to do and they, how they want to play. They're excited in the locker room tonight as they get prepared for this one. So NHL hockey right here, I expect, again, uh, a lot of energy in the building. And if you go back to that last game against Boston, a really good game. You look at the roster, you wouldn't think they would compete well with the Boston Bruins, but they did. And it's all about the effort that everybody is giving. They're giving here because, look, if you want to stay in the National Hockey League, here's an opportunity. You've got to make your impression now with only eight games left on the schedule. And you know what? They feel really good, which they should, about that effort against the Boston Bruins. That was a tight checking game. They didn't give up many second chances in front of Hutchinson, who played very well. So they come in tonight understanding the top team in the league that just went head-to-head -head with, they can carry that over here against the Florida Panthers. All right, that's the way we see it. Dylan, back to you. Thanks again to Bob and Jody. You heard them talking about it right there. More changes for the Blue Jackets lineup this evening. They've been a very resilient group all season long, and Liam Foody says that'll have to be the case again tonight. Yeah, I think at morning skate, we've, we had like 5D, 10, uh, 10 forward. So going into tonight, we're going to have a couple new bodies coming in, but... Uh, it's nothing that we're too worried about. We know we got to go out there and we've been playing a bunch of teams that are fighting for playoffs or already in it. So some top teams. So we know we got to bring our A game every night. And, um, I think our game's growing like that and it shows to our character. Of how well, we know we got to bring every night against a top team. On the other side of things, this is a massive game for the Florida Panthers. They are fighting for their playoff lives right now. Just one point behind the Pittsburgh Penguins for the final wild card spot in the Eastern Conference, and it's been up and down all season long. They have won back-to-back -back games coming into this one tonight against the Blue Jackets, thanks in part to the efforts of Matthew Kachuk. He had a hat trick in their last game, a victory over the Montreal Canadiens, and that has him now with 101 points this season, fourth best in the National Hockey League. You can't forget about Alexander Barkov, one of the best two-way forwards in the league, also playing at over a point-per-game pace this season. And on the blue line, Brandon Montour, top 10 among all NHL defensemen in scoring. So another great test and a handful for the Blue Jackets tonight at Nationwide Arena. That'll do it for the Rink Report presented by Tell Ohio Credit Union. For Bob McElligot and Jody Shelley, I'm Dylan Tyre saying enjoy the game.